This tutorial is covering how to uh, achieve roadway, curbs and footpath. Uh, so I've got just a portion of the plan. The, the red lines are the uh, basically a skeleton. These are these are 3D polylines set at the, the correct height or thereby uh, of the of the road. Uh, using the levels that we'd measured on site and benchmarks that were on Ordnance Survey information. Okay, if I flip that round, if I use the orbit command, you can see that these are basically hovering above. Okay, there's there's a dip down here, a rise there, and a dip and a pretty much level in that direction. Okay, now <clears throat> firstly, uh, I'm going to get rid of some of the layers that are in here. I'm going to purge these away. Um, useful thing to do on any drawing. So, well, P-U-R-G-E, and return. You want to purge nested items, so any layers that are inside blocks will go as well. And click Purge All. Purge All again, and that should have closed, cleaned things up a wee bit. Okay, the list is a lot smaller now. Okay, uh, I've got some tree positions here. I can get rid of, get rid of these trees as well. Uh, we don't need that information. So I'll just tidy that up. Anything that's anything that's unnecessary, just get rid of it. It's just going to slow you down and maybe crash your machine, so we get rid. Okay, now the the layers, the ordnance survey layers have been tidied up. You can see the jagged lines here. That's the ordnance survey things. So I'm going to freeze off those layers and leave just the the stuff that I drew over the top. Okay, don't need to see the levels now and any of this OS stuff. So we've just got the 2D stuff that's fresh and the 3D polylines. Okay, basically do this work in the uh, in the plan view. Okay, I've got layer zero selected as my current layer, and what I'm going to do is look for basically start points on the red line. Uh, bring the bring polylines across to the stuff that's down below, and this leaves this will leave us a skeleton up in space related to where the levels should be. So I'll just draw one. It's pretty clear then what's happened. What happens? All right. I'll just add, set the uh, set up your O snap slightly here. Node will be useful. Center and midpoint won't be, and nearest will be useful just now as well. So okay there. And I'm trying for, for the first one. I'm trying to judge approximately where perpendicular is in relation to this point. So I'll start here and come across to here. Okay, so I'll use a polyline, so it's PL, return, and I want to start about here, end point on the edge of the road, end point on the curb top, and then end point at the back of the pavement. Okay, and I'll put some more of these in, coming across, and then tip it over so you can see what's happened. Okay, so I'll bring back the command. Let's start one here, take it to roughly perpendicular, perpendicular again, and across to the pavement. Do another one. Okay. Do a few here. You know, if it's exactly straight, you might get away with one big one, all one big panel all the way across. But I'm doing a few here just to show you what you can do. Okay, just two more just now. And then one here, I'm looking for the end of the curve, so about here should do to the end there, perpendicular, and then across to there. Okay, now if we tip this over, you'll see what I mean about a skeleton. Okay, these lines are coming across, but they're at the same at the right height, so you can see now how the curve in the surface is going to work. I'll change layer now. We've got some layers set up. Um, we will use... When I purged, I've accidentally deleted the layers. Hold on. I just reinstated the layers. Okay, these are the new layers that I've added. Curb fronts, curbs. This is the tops of the curbs. We've got paths and roads. So I'm going to make roads the current layer and ortho's off but those snaps are on and we're going to 3D face 
the surface across here using the points that we've set out using these polylines. So the command 3F from endpoint to endpoint, looking for the endpoint each time, that's the surface placed in. I can continue that if I snake along in this fashion. looking for the f for the first endpoint because the second one will be the top of the curb okay swap layers now go to curbs I can work back this way it's no problem so I'll go from endpoint to endpoint this is quite a narrow strip the curb okay we'll leave in a yellow strip just snake up nice and Nice and steady, don't rush it or you'll mess it up. Up to here, and then change to the paths and put in the, set, the, the last set of 3D faces. Okay. With a limited number of O snaps, it makes it easy to do selection. Now, I'm always doing this work in a 2D wireframe and I use the shaded view to check. So if I go to uh, to view I can change, oh I can change my shaded view here can't I? And have a look at shaded. We can see the surface there. Road, curb, footpath. Okay there's no level change between these yet, that'll come later on. Right let's go back to 2D wireframe to do the work and I'm going to type in plan to get back to the top view spell it right okay let's do the same over here so back to layer 0 for my kind of defining polylines and I'm looking for the end of the curve here so it's about there so if I start my polyline here come to the line and then I'm going perp perpendicular to the curb again and then perpendicular to this curve okay let's put in, an, put in another one I'm going to go from here across to the, to the edge of the road to the curb and then to the back of the footpath now this one could be done in one 3D surface so could the curb but here we've got a change of shape this is diverging, this is opening out. So probably best to, to set up another couple of polylines, but just go from red to about a third of the way along here. And do another one of those, going straight to the back of the curb. Okay, let's see what that looks like turned over. And let's surface that now. So we'll start off with the road, just like we did last time. 3F. One, two, I'm using the tab key to find the end point. Tap your tab key until end point shows up. There's my road surface. Then I want to do my curb. Another 3D face, much thinner this time. Then go into paths. I've got to do this in more chunks. So it's 3D faces again. I'm going to go from there to there. To here and return three times. One, two, three, return, return, return. One, two, three, return, return, return. One, two, three, return, return. Okay. Check that out. And back to the plan. How do you deal with, with this situation where it's curving round? What I would do here is change to layer 0 and draw a simple line across here, about the same distance away. So we're looking for a distance from about there to there, but the line is going to go across. Okay. Now, be handy if I if I exploded these lines, I could then divide them. So we explode first, so X return pick that, that's the only one you need to divide to be honest okay and then I'll 
set my point display size, so PD size, now you only have to do this once, I'm going to do a PD size of 50 millimeters and a PD mode of 66. When I use the divide command now, div, pick this arc, and I reckon about 12 segments should be enough to get around that without it looking too faceted. Divide this line by four. Okay, then we do the same polylining type of job. Probably best to try and go from the middle here to, the, to this node then perpendicular, and then perpendicular to here. Okay. Now, this one was drawn as a line so that it does change its height. Okay. If I, if I use the polyline, it might be this level coming over and it'll be floating above here. 